Hello everybody and welcome to an In The Closet with Joe Sugg. Hello. Q intro. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Let's start on the clockwise motion, shall okay. we? Work our way around. These lights, by the way, are going to keep going off and on. Like, They're uh, like sensors. Sensor, yeah. Where is the sensor? Is it this thing? I don't know. That's a light, Joe. Oh, that's <laughs> a light. All right, good. <laughs> You've got two camo... I do, but one has same? this on the back. Ah, which I, I, quite, I think it's quite cool. I feel like this one's more, more autumnal when the leaves turn kind yes. of brown, so you'll yeah. blend in, no mm -hmm. one will see you. And that one's probably all summery. Summery, yeah, but yeah. You know I do still wear it in the winter. I'm do crazy you? like that. I'm yeah, you're a nutter. But no one's going to have to see you. But these are like, oh, that's true. You have to see a big patch at the back. It's a little floating head <laughs> bobbing around. <laughs> but I like to keep it all like colour coded, as you can see. I can see that. So you... I start off with my jean colour. Yeah, okay, so you're wearing camos. They're my nudes. Do you know what? You're they're a man after my own heart. Exactly what I do. I kind of colour code my wardrobe. This is easy. I'm going to think, right, I want this colour. So I kind of work my outfits out by colour sometimes. Yeah, okay, got some suede. Yeah, like that's this. my favourite bomber jacket. This one here? Yeah, or. Where's this from? That is ASOS. from ASOS, yeah. You are kind of like, you're, you're not really into brand names, you're kind of more of a, a oh, budget yeah. shopper, I'd say. Oh yeah, sort of, yeah. I th it's, thing is, trends change so quick for me. True, okay. And I'm, I feel like I'm always chasing it as well, I'm never like ahead of the game. Like, is this never? That's not actually mine, that's actually Jack's. To be fair, I've never worn it, but I just haven't given it back to him yet. Jack, if you're watching this, I've still got your hat, mate. No, Jack, you don't want it back. <laughs> yeah. do you? Can I bin it? <laughs> it's a leather hat. This one's oh. cool. Yeah, do you know what? I've never worn that. Once again, that got, 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 got given to me at a meet and greet ages ago, and I was like, yeah, flamingos I don't want to wear it. Yeah, I think it's cool, but I don't know what I'd wear it with. It's quite a statement, isn't it? Um, Knees. So as you know, I'm not the tallest guy, and uh, I get called a hobbit quite a lot. <laughs> so I thought, sod it, I'm just gonna go for it and accept I, it that I'm small. I can and barely get my hand in there. <laughs> you don't want to put your hand in there. My sweaty feet are in there. <laughs> <laughs> so Ollie White got me these for Christmas right. about two years ago now. Okay. And they've been my favourite things. Uh, let's also talk about these shoes, please, because they're amazing. Ah, uh, okay. So um, why you got them in like? Oh, I know about two, two. Two years ago, yeah. Two years ago, I went through a stage in my life where I genuinely thought these were the coolest things to exist. Like, because these are these are Versace. Yeah. Um, so, I'm, I'm you know. reserving comment on them. Yeah. But these the ones, are quite cool, though. Yeah. See those? I think velvet. Just, yeah, the red velvet. Ooh. That's the thing. I'm too scared to wear them. I've only ever worn these in airports. <laughs> I spill a drink on it. Ruined. They feel nice. Yeah. Tom Ford. These are the the showpiece. Once again, another like cringy shoe that I kind of regret. Who are these by? It's uh, Gucci. They're Gucci. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very I like the way that you kind of you, you're you're quite um, um, high street with the, your clothes and yeah. quite high end with like, your shoes. That's the thing. Accessories. I actually prefer going for it with accessories rather than clothes. I feel like you can really get good looks. Yeah. I think it just tries to show that um, money can't buy taste. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. Trust me. I regret these big those big time. Well, can I just point out how many black t-shirts you have? I know. I went through like a you know. Bit of a gothic stage. <laughs> My favourite one though, they all yeah, they all are kind of different. Um I like that one. Yeah. I like this one. Oh, oh, so oh, life. Here we uh, go. That's a sub life prototype. Could have could have done with an iron though. Yeah, I know. I've got I don't have an ironing board or an iron. I'm a steamer. I'm a, st oh, I'm right, a steamer. Yeah, 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 I've got a steamer up there, so brilliant. I also want to point out this camo t-shirt here. Another one. And this one that I thought was camo at first, but actually is <laughs> it's your face a million times. Yeah. Um when I bought my App, app out. Yeah. I wanted to bring out like almost like merchandise with it along with it, sort of yeah. help promote it. So I had like I was gonna get like fifty to hundred of these printed right. to give away to people that downloaded the app. But then after that prototype I was like, Do you know what, I don't wanna ruin the world by producing these on a mass scale. I feel like it would ruin <laughs> I think you should do like a whole camo look and throw that in there. No one would know. I know, yeah. Now, you're quite short, so you can't necessarily see what I can see, but what is oh, this? Oh, that's where it's been! What is that? <laughs> so that right there is my gaming hat. That's what I wear when I play my games. Right. For, um, what, for what reason? I don't know, I just always... If you blow on it, will it spin? Yes! Oh, it's taking off. It's right off from my seat. <laughs> We have lots of sport tops here. Yeah. What's the? Have you been to these games and That's, bought the thing as a mem as a as a memory? Yeah. So what's happened is I decided that I want to start collecting. So I've got more as well in, diff in a different wardrobe. Okay. Um, but these are like my best ones. Right. Whenever I go somewhere, like for example, I went to South Africa this yeah. New Year's. So I feel like I've got to always buy a top. That's cool. Like, usually rugby. I try and try to stick to rugby. So this yeah. is, this is um, rugby's your sport though, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I love rugby. This is Bath. Bath actually sent me. Bath Rugby Club sent me this top. Nice. And it's got Sug on the back. Whee! And the funny thing is, they're sponsored by Thatcher's Cider. <laughs> so it's like I wish I kind of had Joe on the back. That's sort of yeah. Thatcher's Joe, which is almost oh, like my channel name. Yeah. And then I have a good relationship with England Rugby, so they always send me like the latest. Um, 
England rugby jerseys. So they, they really look after they, they do look after yeah. you. Maybe they're trying to scout you. I know. For, oh, I um, wish. for uh, quarterback. <laughs> Scrum half. Scrum half. Scrum half. Line thrower. <laughs> I'll be the line thrower. <laughs> Are you listening? Question round. I want uh, super fast answers. Your most embarrassing piece of clothing. Ooh. Is it the hat? Uh, no, you know what? I love that. Okay. I'm gonna say it's, it's the shoes. It's those shoes from about two years ago. Okay. The, the, the sparkly shoes. 100%. What, the sparkly ones. <laughs> <laughs> the sparkly ones over the um, the Versace ones. Uh, no Versace. The Versace ones. Yeah. Okay. Closely followed by the sparkly ones. <laughs> the most expensive thing you own. Um, that Sandro jacket behind you. Yeah, this we haven't shown that. Yeah. It's this. here. This I love it. It's very this, nice. But this, yeah, this is probably most most expensive. Okay. And it's slightly dirty and needs to get clean. You wore that on your premiere, didn't you? I did, yeah. Mm. Your house is on fire. Uh, also what? One thing oh. you say. It's not Jim, actually don't do that to me. <laughs> probably <laughs> the sparkly shoes. Though. Uh, <laughs> I would probably save. Mm, I try and grab all these. I think. Okay. Yeah. Because these cool. these have a bit of more of a meaning. Like Fine. they remind me of. I'll let you grab all them in one go. Yeah. You, you can get. You can scoop them. I would scoop these up. But don't worry, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Final question is: Who is your style and inspiration? Um, Dougie. From. Take a pointer. Yeah. He's a nice guy. I like his. I like his yeah. style. I think he's very fashionable. Yeah. He's cool. I think he's cool. And of course, you, Jim. Oh, yeah. Of course. You are. That's it. We've seen inside Joe's wardrobe. Um, thanks very much for having me. Pleasure. Um, fun story. Joe slept in here when he first moved. <laughs> I did. I didn't have curtains. I still kind of don't. So I have to like sleep. I used to sleep in here because I didn't manage to get the light out. Joe's house is lovely, and he slept in like the smallest part of it. To be fair, I fit in here quite good though. Like, it's, it's, like, it's like a real life Harry Potter scenario. Look. <laughs> Fine. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click Joe to subscribe. Um, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Nope, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, Jim. We're finished now.